right, let's go. We're wheeling in the TV and the VCR combo. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.2 special program. Yes, indeed. Hashtag Genshin Impact. Hashtag new version. Hashtag special program. Yes, yes. I'm very excited. We've heard some really good things. We did not get the chance to react to this when it was happening, but we're here now. So why don't we just go ahead? You know, we don't even need to, don't even need to worry about what's happening on the screen. Don't look at chat. <laughs> don't look. They're, they're spamming a bunch of stuff that you don't need to worry about. That's, you don't, no, you, you should don't definitely need to, look. It's funny. You don't need to, you don't need to do that. You, you really yeah, but don't. It's, funny, dude. it's <laughs> definitely not funny. It's it definitely is. not. All right. Here we go, guys. Special program. I am hoping to see Chaska. I am hoping to see Oron. Yes. I would love it if Daddy Capitano showed up on screen. I'm excited for banners. I'm excited for content. Are we going to get story? Yeah. I don't know. Let's yeah. find out. Yes. Please. Yes. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. guys. All right. Here we go. We're a tribe of warriors. In ancient times, we were responsible for patrolling and defending all of Natland. Ooh. Look at that shot of Natland, guys. New area? Yes. New area. New area! Old it's mountainous. Still managing to sow discord. Discord. Woo! Shaska! Oh my god, she's swooshing! Yo! She's flying on a gun, bro! What is that? What is that? What is that thing? Ooh! Let's go! There he is! Oh, what? <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, Granny. <laughs> Let's go. Years later. <gasps> Capitano! Again. My goat! I worry that we risk repeating the mistakes of the Cinder City. Daddy Cinder Tano. City? What? Cinder as City? As the soul is involved, I should wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, why are you? Why are whoa, whoa. Caked up on, caked up on, a, caked up on, on a, a whole Thursday afternoon. Whole damn day like <laughs> that, bro. Oh my god, wait, did she lie down on the gun? What is that thing? Is that a, is that a unicorn? Is that a Pegasus? What? Time to say hello. Ooh. Yo. <gasps> oh! Let's go. No! Oh, oh my! Behind. She's flying, bro. Where are we dropping, boys? Truly arrives. We must fight harder than ever. Why? Why is Capitano here? Oh, bro. So Lolly's on this too. Oh, let's go. And I mean, uh, these are already, we already expired. Got our codes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already punched these in. You don't even have to worry. I'm sure you guys already have them too at this point. We got this. Bro. Guys, what in the world was that? So okay. it's not it's not more Archon Quest. It is it not? I mean we heard Capitano. I don't think so. We heard yeah, Capitano. But it didn't it didn't we weren't getting cinematic cutscenes. Not really. Those were just like we I mean, were seeing enemies to battle and then like getting a bit of a Chaska and Oron showcase. That's true. Um, and I, I I mean I saw Chaska, she was going <laughs> on the gun like that. And, and and Oron was like jumping up and he went <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, and then he threw it back. Yeah, like caked up on a whole damn day like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wanderer power crept. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro, imagine Booty. imagine you're just flying around as Josk and you're just like, hey, Skara, I can fly too. Oh, oh. we're back, boys. Welcome to the They're here. Bro. Special program. Hello! I'm Gabe from the Loke team. And I'm Kai. We meet again. Whoa, Friends. Wanna join us? <gasps> A cuckoo sore. Hey, A cuckoo sore? Come out and say hello. Hi. He flopped. <laughs> I'm not a noise. Sure what that meant, but it was adorable. Yes. She approves of So happy. Compliment. Hey, I didn't know you could speak Saurian. <laughs> oh, I can't. But I can make an educated guess based on her body language. <laughs> Whoa. Bro. Are all Kukusors as friendly as this one? Adult Kukusors are usually very proud creatures, but there are always exceptions. Well, since our Kukusor friend kicked things off for us, I know just the place to start. The Flower Feather Clan. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Wait. Kukusors live among the Flower Feather Clan, which is Chaska's area. This is oh my god. Let's go. And most of their people can command the power of the sky. <gasps> Dude, let's it's go. gonna be like in Skyward Sword. Bro, oh my god. Whoa, oh like my Skyloft. The NPC, bro. Hello. Who was she? Was Who was that diva? Intel and quickly neutralize any dangers to the nation. 
Bro. Hey, yo. Circumstances are different now. The tribe never forgot its origins. They still hold trials to assemble the fastest teams in the tribe. Bro, the he's just test a pilot skill and teamwork with the Cuckoosaurs. Oh, I'm so pumped about these Cuckoosaurs. <laughs> I love the Cuckoosaurs. Yeah, Cuckoosaurs are the proudest out of all the Saurians. They Aww. know that they're the kings of the sky. A friend. Cuckoosaurs can consume phlogiston to climb higher Ooh. or perform a horizontal roll in You can fly! We do be flying. Guys, Kevin's not special anymore. Hey, shut up. Leave him alone. Wanderer is power crept, finally. He's always special to me. He got power crept by a bird, Nicole. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> shut the hell up. Cuckoosaurs are really hard to tame. Yeah, that's true. You need to prove yourself in some worthwhile feat. Like hey, demonstrating yo? exceptional archery skill during flight. That's the only way to become a true Cuckoosaur rider. Wow, that's so strict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. But okay, now that we've got a glimpse of the Flower Feather clan, it's time for a quiz. What? I'm great at quizzes. Oh. <laughs> Nicole, are you good at quizzes? Uh, sometimes. Situationally. In that land has a unique Let's see. Way of communicating with their Saurian companions. True. The members of the Flower Feather Clan use a special item to summon their Cuckoosaurs. They sure do. What is that item? I don't know. Uh, no? <laughs> uh, a basket filled with their favorite foods? Snackies? Here's what? a hint. We just <laughs> saw the answer in the previous video. An oh, egg! I, I, I remember now. A uh, horn. Ding, ding, what? Ding. Oh, oh. Far from why did you think it was an egg? Other. I don't so know. Oh my them, God. The tribe's people use whistles and horns to produce loud noises. So there's your overview of Cuckoosaurs. Maybe they sound a little unapproachable compared to other Saurians, but don't worry, travelers. If you get into a tough situation, then Chaska, the Flower Feather Clan's expert peacemaker, can help mediate the conflict. Can Guys, I'm looking. I am looking respectfully. I promise. Silencing both parties. I am looking. Exactly. I promise. <laughs> well, they can see that. That's only in special cases. I'm just Most saying. Time, Chaska barely needs to intervene. Everyone knows what she's she looks like. Of, she's so straight out of a Zelda game to me. To I don't think she's her. straight, but uh, I mean, no, 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 like, not at all. Just handle conflicts <laughs> between humans and Saurians. She keeps the peace between people too. Exactly. Chaska was corrupted by abyssal power as a child, so she has a strong compulsion to fight. But right. she knows how to rein it in. Right. I heard that she was abandoned as a baby. Aww. It seems like she's been Sad. through a lot. Yeah, yeah she has been through a lot, man. Her, the cuckoo source took 5. her in 4. and raised her as one of their own. Don't in remind me. 5.4. I meant 5.1 Act 4. Her yeah, I... I was Chaska picking up what you were putting down. Yeah, I want her to pick me up and then put me oh, down gently. Oh, While she's in wow. the night soul's blessing state, <laughs> Yo! Chaska can ride and control her gun like a cuckoo sore. Yo, what, what the, the hell? hell? <laughs> doesn't just increase How? Her movement speed and resistance oh my god, that's awesome. It also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies. Wow, that mid-air perspective is so Bro, cool. Oh that's my god. so Remember, sick. I know we already talked yeah, about this, but I just remembered. No wonder zone. she's animo. Bro, oh Venti my! always waits. Oh, Venti always <sighs> waits, and he's like, Oh yeah, they I'm lost somebody? Alright, here you go, you're a sad bitch. Welcome to the club. She already had her animo. Vision, though, Nicole. Okay. It was just a self-fulfilling prophecy at that point. Yeah. It's like, no, Venti, I don't want this. I'm not paying attention. I should be paying attention to what she does. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. What? 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 So Chaska can directly deal other types of elemental damage based on the characters in her party. Oh, oh yo, wait, what? You can swirl them at the same time. That's awesome. Yeah, Dude, that's know, awesome. Right? Oh, that similar function too. That burst Chaska is way too sick. Gale splitting soul seeker shell during Bro. Burst, which deals animo damage. Why does she kick the leg up like that? Oh that's my. awesome. Bro. Yo, she tips her hat, bro. That's actually oh my god, the animation is so sick. Oh, uh, uh angle. One of the strongest warriors in her tribe. Bro. Oh, I love that idol for her. She's gorgeous. But we should also Ooh. shed some light on those who aren't as skilled. Oh, are you Quest? talking about the wingless? 
that's what the tribe calls people who fail the flight trials, right?、Mm -hmm. They're the challengers who fail、mm -hmm. to earn the recognition of a kukosor. Exactly. Bro, the music the though. Dude, it's literally、Those、just Skyward Sword. Oh my god. It literally is. Remember? You're so right. Oh my god, that's awesome. This is that's gonna be.、So、cool. This is my favorite style of writing. Then I love that. Until they can fly by themselves. But that assumption is challenged in Tribal Chronicles Tlalocan. Someone will dare to ask, "What if you didn't need a cuckoo sword to fly? If、hmm. you could change the rules, then maybe there wouldn't be any wingless to begin with." Now, whether that's the right path is for us to discover. Chaska will also be there to help us find the answer. So. Be sure to check out Chaska's Tribal Chronicle if you're interested in what happens. Is there I am. We will, we will be playing. That, we will be playing. We've knocked、ah, out all the Notlin characters so far. That's true. Yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> Her Saryan mother will make an appearance. In she the will. What? Even though she's joined、Aww. human society, Chaska still goes to visit her Saryan mother on occasion. That's so cute. That's adorable. I love that. Oh, so Cheska still has the <gasps> soft side, even though she's a fearsome warrior. Look at her. I've always been a Cheska <laughs> fan. You have. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. What? Fires fuel the flame. The tribe. Archon quest. And they'll need the traveler's help to find a solution. Interlude. What kind of interlude. What? Well, the flower feather clan suffered the worst of the、Chapter、abyssal contamination、five. during the battle in version 5.1. It's not just the human body that can't withstand high concentrations of abyssal power. For most people, it also damages the mind. Many、mm. members of the flower feather clan are suffering from the mental repercussions of the abyss. I mean, I'm suffering from the mental repercussions of the last、Who? patch. Who is he? Bro, of plenty. She's traveling around Natland to help those in need. The people of Natland really value unity. Yo, it's gonna be Ayansen story. That's one of my favorite things about Natland. Oh wait,、ah! it looks like the captain、Sorry. will also. There he is. Hello. Yes, the captain will also offer help to the tribe. You may pick up on some interesting information if you pay close attention to what he has to say. Oh, don't worry. We'll aggressively be doing that. True. Regular interactions. But his secrecy here seems a little peculiar, so、mm. keep an eye out. But of course, restoring that land's fighting spirit remains the top priority. After all, the war isn't over yet. The abyssal contamination is still around, and we have a very important battle ahead. Natland needs mental fortitude more than ever before. Look at the I am so ready. I'm so shocked. An interlude quest. Okay. That and that counts as chapter five? Yeah, it's still chapter five. Check it out. We're still in chapter five. It still counts under that. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The towering walls. You eventually arrive at the settlement of the mysterious、Ooh. masters of the Nightwind. Oh yeah, nice. Unique, glowing Let's go. Oh my god. If you venture even、Ooh. further, then you might encounter the tribe's wild Ectomisor elder or one of the many shamans who can communicate、Ooh. with spirits. Yo. I even heard that the witch doctors who live there can help cleanse your spirit.、Oh. Plus, the graffiti art is really incredible. Wow. In fact, wow. There's something special about this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you figure it out, travelers? Hmm, it's kind of tricky, right? Well, don't worry. The ectomisors can help us out. What? Ectomisors are known for their wisdom. They can use their、Ooh. unique sight to detect things that can't be seen through normal means. The music、oh, in this area okay, is gonna、right. be so good. Oh, I love the music already. Ectomisors are skilled at detecting ley lines and phlogiston. They can absorb power from phlogiston objects to enhance their abilities. Doing so Bro, allows them to jump higher, move faster, or even obtain. It's like Sorish, but、Ectomisors、like also incredibly more like diverse. Oh, oh wait, what? That'll come in handy for solving puzzles. Definitely, especially in Tribal Chronicles: Mictland, which will become available in version 5.2. The first two acts feature a lot of intriguing puzzles, so、Ooh. be sure to check them out, travelers. Some of them will require the help of an ectomisor, and others can be solved on your own. I noticed that ectomisors can. They only said first two acts, by the way, which、yeah, means that maybe、like、the、so、third act will be Sitlali. Maybe. Besides the new Saurian, I mean. Yes, Auroran can do it too. He can、Lucky、fly. Thomasaurs. Auroran has the ability to rise into the air. He also has a、hey, sense of perception. Oh, let's go. Shot, 
Ororan will enter the spirit speaker state, allowing him to extract power from Natlan's graffiti and runes. Speaking of Ororan, I was honestly super surprised by his personality. Were we all? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I thought yeah. that he looked like a stern, stoic, and harsh type of character. But yeah. as it turns out, he's just a sweet kid. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of unexpected, right? Took sweet. us for a loop. Really Pathetic. Sweet, though. Just the yeah. thing about all the sneaking around behind his granny's back. Uh, he did do true. that. The tribes people of the Masters of the Nightwind are known for being eccentric. But Aurorun really takes it to the next level. Yeah, it sounds like he does things his own way. I wonder if that extends to his combat abilities. It does. Aurorun is a bit different from the Natland characters we've met so far. He, doesn't he has a little friend. Blessing blessing what is that? Blessing. He has a little friend. And he can maintain the Night Soul's blessing Sorry. state even while he's off. A friend. Ah, that does sound a different friend. from the other Natland characters. He left. Characters. So how do his abilities work? Oh my god, he's so baby girl, guys. Gains Truly. Points. This can happen in multiple ways. For example, Aurorun can gain Night Soul points when one of his party members triggers a Night Soul burst. Okay. He can also gain them when other party members deal Hydro or Electro attacks to enemies after Aurorun unleashes his elemental skill. Oh, interesting. sounds like he works well with Hydro and Electro characters. TASER COMP! I'm sorry. And in combat, when enemies take damage from Electro charged reactions or other party members deal Night Soul aligned damage, Auroran can consume Night Soul points to enter the Night Soul's blessing state and trigger the Hypersense effect, dealing okay. electro damage. All right. Oh, I see. So Bro, you need it's interesting how they're right buffing a bunch of different reactions. Like, Chevrous buffed Overload, Kinich has like the burning reaction, exactly. like he gets the most out of burning, well, and Auroran with Electro Charge. That, okay, I love that they're adding more like emphasis to certain Wait. elements now. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. While he's off field? That sounds really okay. useful. Totally. Okay. His elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal. Bro, damage wait, what is that thing, bro? What's what is Auroran it? It's peeing everywhere. <laughs> it's peeing purple pee. Whoa. I'm sorry. Supersonic Oculus. Bro. Once they're up close, the Oculus releases a sound wave to deal. Sonic the Hedgehog Oculus. <gasps> what yes. crossover? I'm sorry. Dealing with large groups of Bro, why does he do charge attacks in mid air? And speaking of making things. Easier, Bro, that's awesome. That's so cool. Improve the exploration experience by boosting the gliding speed of your characters. Very awesome. nice. Very good. Auron really oh, cherishes yeah. his friends. With a little teamwork on his side, I'm sure victory will always be within reach. Very nice. Cool. So we introduced two of the upcoming regions in this update. The That's Flower right. Feather Clan and the Masters of the Nightwind. But there's more. Versus there's more! To actually but wait. Another new region. It's another new region? Natlan. Oh, Ochka I Natlan. we caught a glimpse of this ancient city when we were looking at the Flower Feather Clan. We did. It's oh yeah, we did. Far away, but those what? clouds look kind of ominous. Yeah, what's it going on over here? Abandoned. Is it dangerous? Yes. What the hell? This is a restricted yes. area in that land due to its severe abyssal contamination, Ooh. and it seems mm. uninhabited. What the hell Over is the going years, on with that? Do you guys see the rocks in the air? Treasure or to slay the dragon. Dragon? What? Dragon? What? None of them have ever returned. What the dragon? What are we talking about? Often sends riders to patrol the area and to prevent people from getting too close. Wait, did you say slay the dragon? Yeah, hello. Yeah. I know we introduced some adorable Saurians earlier. What? But this creature is actually really terrifying. Wait, what the it fuck? What? This ancient city and guards it fiercely. If it Wait, detects what? an intruder, then it will attack without hesitation. Okay, Why is there a dragon? that's what the hell? pretty concerning. It's Guys, what? It's easy to take human Saurian coexistence for granted these days, but it actually took generations of effort to reach this point. This relationship wasn't nearly so harmonious in the ancient past. Travelers will need to explore Ochkanat land to uncover the reason behind this dragon's rampage. What of the course, hell? Travelers won't have to do this alone. Here, take a look. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is oh a okay. This important companion who will help us explore Ochkanat land. That's his just a little Coco. guy. As for his oh. power, well, why don't you take a guess? Okay. What, uh, what is he? Is he our moral support? You know, I hope so. He could make a cute noise every now and then to cheer us up. That should okay. be the case. Let's not put our Tapetlasaur friend out of a job. 
Don't worry, Bill will do an hard. excellent job of okay. keeping us like the spirits up. Remember how I mentioned that Oshkanat land is heavily corroded by the abyss? Well, that's where Kokuit comes in. We can use his power to clear abyssal contamination. Follow the direction indicated by his light to collect secret source scraps and enhance his power. Once Kokuik has enough power, you can take him to track down the evil dragon. What a useful evil little guy. Dragon. I know, right? Bro. Now travelers can explore Oshkanatlan with two companions, Kokuik and Little One. In fact, I've heard there's even a special token around here that can enable Little One to traverse a volcano. Hmm. What? A new adventure with Little Bro. One awaits in version 5.2. This Where's a volcano? I want to go in a volcano. Closer to uncovering the mysteries of Little One's past. Familiar Saurian companions can also help us explore Ochkanatlan. For example, with the help of a Koholosaur, we can evade source mechanism attacks. With the help of an Ikitomisaur, we can solve certain puzzles. With the help of a Kukusaur, we might even be able to chase down the evil dragon. But we'll leave the rest for you to discover, travelers. Wait, hmm. are, are those some kind of lava fish? Oh, Does what? hello? We can fish in that land? <gasps> fish yes. in Nodlin? Fishing all our lives? Advice, Bro. You should be very careful while exploring Ochkanatlan. I want to fish. Some of the monsters here can distort their appearance to mimic powerful enemies. Bro. High level monsters such as the Tenebrous Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. What the Not hell the is that? The monsters take what the, form the? Of plants outside of I don't want the Papilla no, anywhere near me, bro. The Abyss has corroded Natlan's ley lines, allowing these monsters to read the memories inside of them and mimic creatures from Tevat. How do we defeat them? Mago Kengi! Use <gasps> elemental bro. to break the enemy's protective void wards. Doing so allows them to take damage and causes them to enter a brief state of confusion. Night soul aligned elemental attacks are especially effective against these wards. Wow, okay. the abyss has Interesting. gotten so advanced. It's scary to think about how much harder these fights will get if these abyssal monsters continue to evolve. Yeah. Okay, that was a lot of information to take in at once. But before I we would take say our so. first break, we still have a couple of short announcements. Really short. Short announcements. First up, limited time exploration rewards will be available in version 5.2. Okay. Just like in version 5.1, travelers can earn up to 400 extra Primo gems. Very nice. The rewards will be available all the way through version 5.3. We love now to see it. To introduce the event wishes. Yes. The first half Let's of go. Oh, Lenny. Ooh. Okay, Oron is on the first half of Chaska. I like that. Okay. okay. I like that a lot. We're pulling, yeah. Probably. Okay. In the second half of version 5.2. No. What? Fuck. How are we gonna choose? Five star boat. Astro Vultures no, Frozen we don't have either of them. Wait, no, slow down! I can't, I can't keep up, bro. Slow down! I cannot, I can't, bro. Why they put the two old men on the same? Oh no! They put the dragon and the fake dragon on the same patch, bro. What are we gonna do? We don't have either old man. This is not. Daijobu. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. Welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. Sorry for being a little bit away from chat for a few minutes, guys. I'm so sorry. We are currently recording our reaction yes. for the YouTube. You are all in a video. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. Oh, oh. You're all in our video and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> okay, calm down, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at the little guy. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of glad there's no, like, major cryo rerun because i don't mm. think my little heart could handle a shenha at this moment right now i need but to save for mavuika reiko you're you're right to be asking questions because we haven't gotten cryo reruns in in like hundreds of days we haven't gotten a risley rerun at all no we it's haven't. been over a year since he's been in the game no I rerun know. that's concerning who They're are these oh. friends look at them oh Oh, well, Scotty, you're going the wrong oh, way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive straight into the event section. So in the Dude. first event, we'll get to learn more about the Masters of the Nightwind. That's right. In the version Also, I just want to point out, I am Tommy looking at Sit Lolly respectfully, I promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very respectfully, uh, definitely. The bottom of a mysterious accident that occurred within their tribe. Travelers will need to complete combat challenges to defeat enemies who try to disrupt the ritual. They'll also need to reconstruct scenes from the tribe's woven scrolls. 
and gather lost spirits scattered throughout the region. Travelers will only be able to uncover the truth if they collect all the clues. But don't worry, there are also various rewards to earn along the way, including Primo Jams. Ooh, I really like the vibe of this event. It looks like Sitlali is performing some kind of ritual. It's nice. Bro, also nice. mysterious. When a situation gets Witchy. tough, it's Granny to the rescue. <laughs> True. Definitely. Best Sing Granny. And True. And have some really fun dialogue in this event. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> oh, it's going to be chaotic. You already know it. Interact. He's They're grabbing the popcorn, too, you guys. No. He's just like fun. us. Let's get into he the also wheeled in the shitty VCR. The search for yeah. Lost Spirits minigame. Travelers will have to work together to herd the scattered roaming spirits into specific zones to Oh no. Pay attention Guys, are we playing this all together on a co-op day? Are we gonna play this on a co-op? Oh my god. Wait, can we? Yeah, it's co-op, so we can do it. Break open and release even more spirits. Storms Guys, I'm already gonna I'm gonna beat you all. I'm gonna beat y'all. Trust me. More effectively if you pay attention to the direction of the storms. What do you not want to play on co-op with us? Is that am I is that what I'm completing? I'm forcing you into co-op, I don't care. Vanishing aura, which allows you to deal AoE damage by spring paint at enemies. That paint really matches the masters of the night. Wait, paint! It's super cool. Yeah, they should drink it! Guys! Guys, drinking paint, am I right? Am I right? Wait, it tastes so yummy. These fragments together and assemble them on a woven scroll. Hmm. Make sure that you pay attention to the order and positions of the fragments. Oh, there's something else that we should mention. Travelers can obtain a new four-star four sword by completing this hell? event. What, what is, is going, going on? on? What is with this glitch, bro? Of the night wind. It looks like some kind of ceremonial artifact. I totally agree. Oh, and this event will allow travelers to learn more about Natland's secrets. For example, this quest will reveal new clues about a mysterious and legendary place, the Mare Javari. Wow, Ooh! we've been hearing about oh, this shit. place since Mondstadt. Oh, Big lore! Shit. Big lore! On a related note, the Wait, Guild has prepared the Mare Javari! Members. That was like, Active that was, isn't that the one with Venti's friend? That, that was! In the manga? No, no, the, the Venti story quest, his, his story quest, and then the friend oh, yeah. that perished. Bro, remember? I do know. Yes. Big lore, big lore. That's really big lore. Where the fuck is Varka? Where is he, bro? Where is bro? Is he still in Notland, or did he fuck off back to Monsta? I don't know. the format has changed this time. Travelers will need to select the combat units and stratagems to deploy against the opposing stratagems. Once the lineup is what set, is this? The <laughs> will fight HSR? HSR? <laughs> Available combat units and stratagems are completely random. You know, just to build some unpredictability into the war game. The chances of encountering elite combat units increases as the war game progresses. Even more elite monsters will be available for travelers to use. It's a volatile environment. So do your best to win as many rounds as possible, earn work in medals, and collect the rewards. All right, let's keep the excitement rolling in this next event. We actually have a demo, so please take a look. Ooh, Ooh all right. Oh, looks like they're selecting tactics. Double damage? That sounds powerful. Ah, it's TCG, I see. Whoa, it's Of automated. course it is. It's always cool. TCG. The elemental reaction effects are completely different. This brand new heated battle mode is called Automatic Artistry. Powerful support cards have been added for nearly every elemental reaction. Choose cards that align with your strategies to trigger powerful elemental reactions. The effects will change the depending Pokemon on how you play. That. Addition, Truly. The overall gameplay is very laid back. Characters will automatically duel each other and skill animations are now shorter in length. Wow, it's like we got a whole new Genius Invocation TCG after coming back from Natland. Bro. Talk about Whiplash. Truly. <laughs> That's right. Even if you've never played Genius Invocation before, I, I highly have. recommend checking cat. out this the cat is goaded, honestly. version 5.2. The new version will also I think the cat is personally the best part of TCG. Yeah. Just the fact that you walk up you to a cat with a hat just so that you're able to play the game at all. Kind of kind of amazing, that. honestly. Our next right. event will give travelers the opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. In Claw Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some adopted animals. Travelers will be able to see the animal's point of view by using a special tool. 
Once you've managed to deduce their location, you'll be able to track them down. Once the animals are safe and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. I feel like Auroran would really shine in this what? event. What is that? What is that? Who tell? What? <laughs> I can what see is that. with Director I'm Who sure doing over there, the bro? Animals from other nations. Yeah. Finally, the Leyline Overflow event will return in version 5.2. Nice. Need more I am broke. <laughs> so this is gonna help me. All right. Let's Not after I have to build Chaska, but I mean that's besides the point. First up is the change to the Imaginarium Theater. Okay. Previously, travelers will be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge and have to reopen the Fantasia Tome to continue. Travelers yeah. provided feedback that this setup interrupted their experience. It's a little so, inconvenient. This will no longer be the case in version 5.2. Now, Very nice. after finishing a battle, all you need to do is click next act if you want to keep fighting. Oh. Nice. Travelers can now enjoy the thrill of combat without any interruptions. And for all the generous travelers who like to configure supports for their friends, a supporting caster record has been added in the new update. Okay, you can now all check right. Which friends have borrowed your supports by looking at the supporting cast screen? Cool. It'll be nice to know that our supports are helping people out. Yep. Oh, and the party configuration mechanic has also been up. What was Kokomi doing on one apprentice notes? No artifacts. Bro, they didn't build their Kokomi right. Not roasting the build. I mean, I have to, Nicole. That is so helpful. Guide maker era, remember? Oh my god. You should watch my guides. With some characters, but <laughs> this information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. These markers will display key information on how to counter enemies, but in a much more prominent position. Hopefully, this change will make it easier for travelers to form the best teams. Yes. I agree. Now we can directly see which elements work best against specific enemies. That's definitely going to save some time. We love sure. to see it. And we can expect even more optimizations in the future as travelers continue to provide valuable feedback about their experiences. Okay. Let's introduce the other system optimizations coming in version 5.2. All right, now let's see five it. Star artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtained them, from the most recent to the oldest. <clears throat> Second, okay. the animations for crafting materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter in length. Oh, mm, really I see. Nice. The dev team designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have to watch them over and over again. There will also be several optimizations for the Serena teapot. The seed dispensary can now hold more of every type of seed. You'll be able okay. to purchase wood at the Realm Depot in exchange for Realm currency. In addition, the cooldown for the boon of the Elder Tree will be reduced to 5 seconds. This way, it will be easier for travelers to collect wood. Awesome. That's convenient. That's convenient. Some cool replicas in my Serena teapot, but I'm always short on wood. So this should be really helpful. Nice. I'm so excited. This for would you. be oh, helpful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please Get don't leave. Out. Please don't leave. Get out. No. To configure lock settings with a single click, just hit use recommended settings and you're set. The recommended mm. set lock plans will even update automatically based on popular in-game configurations. Of course, Yo, guys, you, you know, it'd be an, an, amazing, an amazing, amazing idea. idea. Yeah. Artifact yeah. presets. <laughs> oh my god, it would mind be blowing. Like, guys, imagine you lock your, your favorite artifact sets and then you put them on. This Bro, it it's genius idea. Wow, I know, in I know. Addition, it takes a, a genius to go with ideas like this, guys. I don't know what to say. The interface will be added to the artifact domain challenge screen and the artifact acquisition screen. This should make it easier for travelers to configure their locking rules whenever they want. A star feature will also be added next to the lock button on each artifact. Travelers okay, can that's use good this to know. Feature to mark their favorite artifacts and filter by stars to quickly track them down. Finally, I do like that. I do like that. That's good. Now be able to locate even more treasure locations. Ooh, okay. Seelies and time trial challenges. Ooh, that's a good. That's helpful. That's really good. For treasure compasses and Oculus resonance stones. Enabling this feature will allow travelers to more easily use these devices across regions. The feature I like will that. automatically switch to the compass or stone that corresponds to your location in the game. Awesome. Be sure Very to nice. Check out I like that a lot. For more details on the version 5.2 optimizations. All right. That was a lot of info. So this seems like a good time for our second break. All right. And this is the final redemption, the redemption code. Redemption okay. Code. 
So nice. now we get to talk a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. God damn, thighs for days, Chaska. Why you gotta be looking like that? Why is she looking like that? Wait, take a second. What? <laughs> what? Finally like the map. Lick the map clear. Oh Bro. my goodness, brother. Can 100% the areas? I, dude, I finally got 100% in the, the part of the desert of Sumeru I never got because I was missing one chest. That was it. And then 100%. Finally, and that was just nice. with the more recent like uh, update to the treasure compass. So I can't, I can't imagine like how, I, I, I can imagine how helpful this one's gonna be. So I'm very excited for this. This is helpful for me. I have Ito that gives me a bonus on wood. Bro, nice. Hell yeah, in more ways than one. Am I right? Ayo, already left. Josh, no, no, my puns aren't that bad, are they? I hope not. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, bro, what the hell? What? Y'all can synchronize your laughing. Welcome it's back, uh, it's the twin connection. Well, That's true. Agenda, That's dude. true. We have some very exciting news to share. Ooh. After the version update on November 20th, travelers will yes! be able to play Finally! Series Finally! Let's go! Let's freaking go! And S consoles to receive the wind glider Wings of Fate's Course Intertwined. Let's freaking go. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members can play Genshin Impact via cloud gaming. Nice. They'll also find extra rewards in their in-game mailbox. Nicole, you get oh, to play yes. Genshin. All right. I'm so that hyped, guys. Everything. That means that we've reached the end of the special program. Very Is nice special anything program. anything that you want to say before we go, Kai? Yes, I'm really looking forward to all the new characters. Chaska and Same. her weapons seem really incredible. I'd love to see how her travel chronicle unfolds because she has such an amazing personality. I agree. And Aurora seems like a very layered character. The storytelling is. Oh, he's got layers, shot. all right. <laughs> layers like cake. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Damn. I'm, I'm sorry. For players to experience True. more of the Natland storyline, and we have so much to explore this time. I mean, two new tribes and a new area as well. Yeah, like I'm the this. scary one. What are we talking about? That evil about dragon. Is I about the dragon. I thought you guys were talking about this is all part of the little guy quest. I have been playing it. Don't you worry. I just haven't played a lot of it, but I will be playing more of it. I've been busy, guys. I gotta catch up on my quests. On that note, I hope you have fun with the new version, travelers. Thank you, my friends. Bye. 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 Nicole, wave goodbye. Bye. Nice. Nice. Okay. Cool, you guys. All right. I see. I see. Uh, don't don't look at the don't look at the don't look at the. Uh, I don't know what what's there 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 Let's is. Let's play a fun game. Which videos on here are recommended to which one of us? If don't, we share a YouTube account, there's an odd one out here. Don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Honestly, okay. Kind of a laid back patch, but. It feels very lore heavy with story quests or like uh world quests more accurately. Yeah. I I'm thrilled that we're gonna have more Capitano screen time. Yeah. Even if it's not like main main story, you know? Right. That's... This still counts as an Archon quest, the interlude. So we're gonna see Iensen. It counts because it's like Skara's quest. It's yes. like the inversion of Genesis. Yes. Like that still so that's counts. That's gonna be important. That's still counted under uh chapter three. Yeah, chapter three. It's still counted after <laughs> I forgot. I was chapter like chapter three. I was like chapter I'm like four, four three. I was like, no, wait, no, Fontaine is four. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so this still counts under chapter or this counts under chapter five. That's all. Am I copying the Bob Ross? Okay, calm down. <laughs> the ASMR. No, stop. We're not skipping that bit. Don't What's ask. Crap, I did not listen to the third one. Okay, okay. We're not We're not talking about that. Later. We're not talking. <laughs> we're talking about Capitano. We're talking about Iansen. So, first of all, who is this? this who is the, are you? That's the Flower Feather Clan Chief. Mans is built like bro. a freaking tank, bro. And then I'm excited to see... Iansen's tribe at least have some screen yes. time and Iansen in general. Finally. So Capitano is going to come in here, probably drop some Kadria lore bombs on us. Okay, thank God. Well, guys, what's up with the evil dragon? Is this going to be our dragon reference from the summertime event? Maybe. With Mini Durin? Maybe. Like, what's what's this evil dragon business? Dragons are yeah. important. We're going to have to play this uh, world quest on stream, aren't we? Because I yeah. feel like it's going to have lore that we're going to have to, like, 
properly theorize on. All fires fuel the flame. Interesting. Really excited for the new areas. Really excited for the new areas. Masters of the Nightwind, like the aesthetic. That's going to be my favorite, I think. Bro. Although Chaska's area is going to remind us so much of Skyloft because of Zelda. I've always been a major fan of Skyward Sword, so this is really itching the Skyward Sword fan in me. Well, they have the birds. It's the same thing. I love it. Oh, my God. And I, oh, man, I want to pull so badly. I really want to pull. Why is her belly button on the screen? Damn. Damn. Pop off, Chaska. We see you. I Listen, I've always been a big fan of Chaska. She's always, like, from day one, I was like, oh, I'm going to love you. <laughs> Saber, I'm excited to fly around as a pink turkey. Me too. Me Honestly. too. Honestly. Bro, I, I want to fly around on a pink turkey. I want to fly around on a giant gun. Her weapon is really sick, too. Yeah. Like, I gotta say, like, I, I I love the designs of, like, the new weapons. Uh, what was this one? The the event weapon right here. The Calamity of Eshu. What is that weapon gonna be, bro? It better be good, because it looks... Like, look at that. Look at that. Nicole, look at it. Look at it, Nicole. I, I'm looking. It's you amazing. You weren't looking. I said your name, like, three times. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, yeah, but her weapon... So sick. Like, oh my god. I love, I love the art style. We got a new Catalyst too. Okay, pop off. The banners, uh, once again, no Shenha and no Cryo, which is disappointing. Damn. But that's okay. I'm just glad that Auron is on Chaska's banner because what are we gonna do about New Valette and Zhang Li though, you guys? Because we don't we have need either both of, them. of them. Do I don't want to have to skip, but I am a broke bitch. I oh know. my god. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. I'm excited to see how Auron plays. I'm excited to see how Auron plays. I am plays. too. I'm just excited to see him, period. Like, bro, he looks so, so cool. I love that he does charge attacks in midair. He can fly. If it was Shenha, not Linny, what would you do? Uh, it was it, Shenha, obviously. I like, I love Chaska, but I have to pull for Shenha. Cha- Shenha is the only character. From the early days of Genshin, that I still do not have and would very, very much like. If they're that, you, you're bringing up such a valid point. Uh, the potential for Traveler Angst. First, we address the purification powers. Now, wings. Oh my God. Because they lost their wings. <sighs> you're so right. Bro. You're so right. You're so right about that. Oh my, oh my God. God. Okay, I'm excited for this patch. The patch looks really good. It, I was expecting it to be a little bit filler because they said no major Archon quest, at least in this patch. But you know what? That's fine. We have an Archon quest still, which I'm very shocked by, but I'm very excited for. Right. But I think that's going to be a cap on the reaction. So thank you all so much for watching this wonderful, wonderful video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> what? I can't speak. I'm dumb. I, I got Chaska made me a little stupid. That's yeah. fair. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching our reaction to the program. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what you guys are going to be pulling for, what you're going to be pulling for, who you're going who to be, pulling, be for, pulling for, because I I want Chaska, but I also have to pull for Nuvalet and Jungli, so we'll figure it out. But yeah. yeah, let us know in the comments below who you're pulling for. I almost, I I am, I am very, like, my, I am not, I am not. Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Catch you later. There you go. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we go live and upload as well. It's okay, Nicole. We don't have to try to pretend that this outro isn't anything less than chaotic. No, but subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>